Ever since Faithless Looting got banned in Modern, Arclight Phoenix has been non-existent, but LSMD got a 5-0 playing Arclight Phoenix in a different way. While in recent history, people have tried to abuse this with Faithless Salvaging, which is discard a card, then draw a card with a rebound, which means that you can cast this on your upkeep. LSMD only played two copies of this, but instead of using this to discard the Phoenix, they are using Ledger Shredder. And if you haven't seen Ledger Shredder, it's a two mana one three that says whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. And in a deck focused around casting spells this is so easy to achieve and when looking at the rest of the deck we have a backup plan of three murktide regents which is one of the better creatures in the modern format and if you're still concerned about getting phoenix into the yard we have other ways like consider milling it or discarding it to our lightning axe or to a faithless salvaging so in today's video we are going to be trying to abuse arclight phoenix again in modern we're on the play and we're definitely keeping a risky hand here. We'll lead on turn one canal and hold up a Thought Scour. But it goes a coast into a Mep Knight and on the end step we'll Thought Scour ourselves. Oh, and they have a spell pierce for that. Oh God, that's so good. <laughs> no land. Okay. But it goes planes into a stone forge, which picks up a sword of fire and ice. Then they attack in for one and cast out another Mep Knight. Land, let's go. We'll fetch out an island and then we'll lead on a Manamorphose. We make two red and we find another Ledger Shredder. So we'll gut shot a Mep Knight, then cast the Lava Axe, discard into Phoenix, killing the stone forge. Then we get it back, attacking in for three. But it plays a secret coast and just jams the sword <laughs> we find another phoenix we'll attack in for three then cast out a ledger shutter when plays out an urza saga and equips the mem knight then attacks us for three and sword triggers killing our arclight phoenix and then they run up here still paladin post combat we find a Manamorphos. we'll cast that making blue and red we find a polluter delta we'll play that fetch out an island cast out our ledger shutter conniving with the ledger shutter discarding a phoenix and we'll attack in with ledger shutter uh opponent plays out another stoneforge mystic and this grabs shadow spear and not hammer so we might be alive here they play out shadow spear and connive twice with ledger shutters we'll put back a phoenix and i think we have to bend a bolt sadly they draw a card off of pure steel and shadow spear hits the battlefield and they do have a hammer opponent has this here r.i.p so let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out three gut shots two lava axes for brotherhoods in ees and a braids game two our starting seven looks great we'll lead on turn one tarn fetch out an island and hold up our consider when it goes planes into a zagardazade then cast out an ornithopter so we will consider on the instep and our top card's an ei which we'll keep and we find another consider we'll shock in our steam vents and hold up a braid and consider when it goes sun Bay Cannon into a Sanctifier, and on the end step we'll consider, and we'll bend this Lightning Bolt, find another Merc Tide. We find a Canal, we'll play that out, and hold up a Braid still. We'll play the Seacrum Coast into a Cranial Plating, and they equip it to a Sanctifier with Scar's Aid, and before damage they cast out a Hammer. So we have to abrade this Hammer, and then we take four, going down to 13. We top deck a Phoenix, we will play out our EI. We'll put Salvaging into our hand, Manamorphos on the bottom, and Thought Scour in Exile, then cast our Thought Scour, targeting us, drawing into a Consider, and then opponent plays out a Stoneforge Mystic on the end turn. This is finding a Colossus Hammer, and this means that they have more than enough damage to kill us, so we gotta move on to match number two. Match two, our seven's a little too land heavy, so we'll mull. And our six is risky, but we'll keep. Putting back a redundant salvaging. We'll go turn one island, holding up consider and thought scour. When it goes grove into hardened scales, and we'll thought scour ourselves on the instep. Mm, no land for us, so we gotta consider. And we'll bend the manamorphos, hoping to find land. Uh no land for us. When it plays out a saga into a patchwork automaton, then casting a welding jar, getting a three-three. We find a land, we'll play out our canal, and then cast out a merc tide. And no attacks from the opponent. We find an island so we'll lead on a consider and we'll bend this arc light phoenix on into a land and we'll play our island and hold up a faithless salvaging they forgot to make a contract in our end step as well but they make one in their upkeep when it grabs a spear off of their saga then plays another saga casting as a boss and on their end step we'll cast a faithless salvaging discard in a phoenix find another land in our upkeep we rebound the salvaging and we'll discard one of our lands find another land into an ei so we'll cast an ei we'll put lightning axe into hand steam vents on the bottom and thought scour in exile then we'll cast a thought scour milling ourselves join into a phoenix then we will fetch shock lightning axe the construct discard in a phoenix and at the beginning of our combat we'll get back three phoenixes attacking the opponent for nine opponent plays out a power conduit then destroys their power depot with their zabaz making an 8 8 automaton and equipping it with shadow spear and they attack and we are not allowed to chump so we're gonna have to figure out lethal on our turn we find a tarn we'll cast an ei first we'll put gut shot into hand island to the bottom and seer visions exile we'll cast our serum visions draw into another gut shot we'll bottom both of these cards so we have to cast our serum visions again finding a faithless salvage and I guess we're bottoming both of these. Then we'll play out a tap canal. Yeah, and I think we're just gonna die here and hope we can figure out a lethal next turn. Or makes another construct. Then plays out an Uzalith. Then destroys the Zabaz, which puts counters on their automaton and on Uzalith, making a 12 12. And they have a 15 15 trample and lifelink. And we're just dead here. We could block, but there's no way we can win the game. So let's get on to sideboarding. We're gonna take out Serum Visions, a Consider, a Gut Shot, and two Lightning Axe for Buzz and a Braids and EEs. Game two, our hand's a little weak here, so we'll mull. And our seven's much stronger. We'll put back a light. 
lightning bolt. We'll go turn one strand. Oh, it goes turn one grove into an ancient stirrings. Getting a soulless jailer. So on the end step, we will fetch shock and cast a consider. And we'll keep the land on top. Gut shot's a good draw. We'll play our land, getting an island, and cast our ledger shutter. Oh, it plays out a carplusion forest into a patchwork. Then cast a welding jar. And we get to connive with ledger shutter. And we'll put an arc like Venus back. And we do have three spells in our hand here. We draw another Phoenix. So we'll cast out our EI. And these three cards are fine. We'll put EI into hand, metamorphose on the bottom, and island into exile. Play our island and then double gut shot the opponent. Conniving with Ledger Shutter on the first, we'll put back a Phoenix. And since we found a Visions, we don't need to gut shot, so we'll cast a Visions. Putting Bolt into our hand, Ledger Shutter to the bottom and EI on top, and then we'll go to combat, getting two Phoenixes back. And attacking in for nine on turn three, pretty crazy. Oh, it plays a Forest into an Ozolith. And then they did nothing else. We'll just start by going to combat here, attacking in with the team. And opponent goes to one, so we'll cast a gut shot, trying to kill them. And we take it down. Let's get on to game three. Game three, our seven looks amazing. Opponent goes turn one Depot. We find a Manamorphose off the top. We'll go Island into a Seer Vision. I need to land and we will put a Manamorphose on top and Thought Sky on the bottom. And it goes Urza Saga into a hanger back. We top deck another Manamorphose. So we'll go Island into a Shredder. An opponent casts out an Ozolith. We top deck a Bolt. So we'll lead on a Manamorphose. We'll make red blue. Gone into a Steam Vents. We'll cast another Manamorphose. And Ivy with Ledger Shredder. And we'll discard our Phoenix. We draw another Manamorphose. Holy, let's cast it into a land. Unfortunate. So we'll cast the Serum Visions. And we draw Consider and our Arc Light Phoenix is on top of our deck. So we'll sh Oh, I'm in the shock of the Steam Vents now. Ow. That's okay. Then we'll bolt the opponent, go to combat, get a Phoenix back, and attack in for five. And the upkeep, the opponent floats a man off Saga, then grabs his Abaz. We'll fetch out an island here, cast to consider, seeing a Thought Scour, which we'll keep on top. And then we'll Thought Scour ourselves, conniving with Shredder, going a Murktide, and we'll discard the Phoenix. And then we do find an EE. -E. We'll shock in our EE, -E, and then we'll cast in a Braid, killing their Uzalith. Then we get back another Phoenix, and we'll attack in with the team. And in combat, they destroy their hanger back, getting three 1 1s. Double blocking, killing a Phoenix. But they fall down to six, and nothing on the opponent's turn here draw another phoenix i guess we're hard casting this and going in for lethal yep and in combat they give their zabaz flying with the power depot and then they just concede the game because there's no winning at this point let's get on to match number three match three we got paired against the main deck endurance ephemerate player and both games were not particularly close our deck literally could not do anything against that card so we got 2 would pretty easily so let's get on to match number four Match four, we're on the play, and hand looks amazing. We'll lead on Shocking and a Steam Vents, holding up Consider and Thought Scour. An opponent leads on Shell Dock Isle, meaning we're up against Mill. So we'll cast Thought Consider on the Insta, and we'll keep a Spire Bluff on top. We draw Visions. We'll play at our Canal into a Ledger Shredder. Opponent fetches out a Swamp, and then pushes our Shredder. <laughs> but we find another one. We're so good. We'll play that out, and then we'll fetch out an Island. Then cast a Serum Visions, conniving with our Shredder. And we'll bend this Scalding Tarn. We don't want that. Draw another land, and we'll bend the land and keep Consider on top. And they Archive Trap us on the Insta, milling over in our arc like phoenix for us they play out an island into a tasha's hideous laughter exiling one phoenix and a murktide region so we'll lead on a thought scour milling our opponent i need a salvaging which we'll cast conniving with our shredder discarding a phoenix then we'll discard a canal finding another phoenix and then we'll gut shot the opponent and go to combat getting back two phoenixes and attacking in for eight and after combat we'll play at our strand please no mill smells an opponent activates shell dock isle oh no and they cast a hideous laughter exiling the rest of our deck so we got to get on to game two we're going to take out two lightning axe three gut shots and thought scours for jace the mind sculptor blood moon mystical disputes and fluster storms game two our hands a little too land lights so we'll and our six is much better we'll put back a bolt and we're gonna lead on turn one strand when it goes turn one to island we find an ei we'll fetch out an island shock on a steam vents and then cast out a shredder luckily no trap for us when it plays out a crab into a watery grave milling over a phoenix for us and we find another ei off the top we'll cast that out and in response they extirpate taking all of our phoenixes out of our deck oh and thankfully we do find a land off the ei so we'll put ei into hand and bolt to the bottom and a land into exile play our land that shock and bolt down this crab conniving with our shredder and we'll discard an ei oh and then they surgical our merc tides at least we get to connive one of them away so we'll get rid of our merc tide and then we'll tack in for three and on our end step they trap us milling another 13 then they play out a field rune top deck another blood moon we'll cast out an ei and they have a drown lock for our ei and we'll let that resolve holding up our fluster still then attack in for three nothing from the opponent and we top deck another fluster so we're just going to hold these up the rest of the game tacking in for three and on the end step they field ruin us when well, it plays a field a passing they attack in for three and they go for a drown on our ledger shredder and i think we have to double fluster this when well, it pays for the first and then we'll fluster it again conniving with our ledger shredder and we'll get rid of our, our blood moons and now opponent takes four instead of three then play out a canal then they cast a tasha's head his laughter and we have four cards left in our deck and they concede what a close game let's get on to game three game three our seven looks quite good decent amount of counter spells here when it goes turn one grave into a hedron crab we'll fetch shock here and hold up a thought scour 
power and all of our interaction. They play out a Delta, milling us for three, then play out a Soul Guide Lantern. And then on the end step, we'll Thought Scour the opponent, drawn into an EI. And still on the end step, they fetch out an island, milling us for another three, getting three lands. Into a Surgical on our Murktide. We top deck a Scalding Tarn, so we'll fetch Shock and continue holding up our interaction. And on the end step, they cycled their Lantern. We don't cast out another Crab, and we have to dispute that. And they play out a field, milling us for another three. We draw a Spire Bluff Canal, we'll cast out an EI. We'll put Blood Moon in our hand, Metamorphose on the bottom, and Salvaging into Exile, then play out our Spire Bluff. When it plays out an island, mills us for another three. We draw an EI, we'll play out an island, and then cast our Blood Moon. And in response, they use Field, destroying one of our lands, and we grab an island. And they mill us for another three with the Crab, milling over our first Phoenix. Then we'll cast the Serum Visions, and we'll bottom a Metamorphose and keep a Phoenix on top. They play out a Mountain and mill us for three, milling over our Phoenix. We find a Visions, we'll lead on an Iteration. We'll put Consider into Hand, a Consider to the bottom, and a Canal into Exile. Then we'll play a Mountain, then cast out another EI. And in response, they cast an archive trap uh, and that's all of our bolts gone yep and we can't cast any of these so we'll put shredder into hand and something on the bottom and something to exile then they cast out another trap milling us for lethal and we go to troll and die so let's get on to match number five our seven's a little too weak so we got a mole our six is risky but we'll definitely keep and we'll put back a redundant ledger shredder we'll lead on turn one spire bluff holding up consider then it goes turn one mountain into a ragavan so on the end step we'll cast consider looking for land god gut shot's good but i really want to land here uh, we do find it. Okay, good. And then we find another land. So we'll shock in the Steam Vents and cast out a Ledger Shredder. When it shocks in the Stomping Ground and then evokes out a Fury. Filling our Ledger Shredder. Then they attack in for two. And Ragster exiles a land. Oh, and then opponent casts a Pillage, killing our land. Yikes. We top deck an EI. We'll play out a Flood Strand and hold up our Lava Axe. They go to combat. And in combat, we will Lightning Axe, killing the Ragavan, discarding Manamorphose. Ooh, and then they cast a Boom Bust, destroying our land and keeping theirs because it's indestructible. No land for us. When it plays the foothills doing nothing else when we find an island we'll play that out holding up salvaging and manamorphose and just the land for the opponent so on the end step we'll cast our faithless salvaging discarding our manamorphose drawn into a phoenix so in our upkeep we will rebound this and discard our phoenix finding a bowl then we top deck a serum visions and we're going to cast that rather than the ei and we'll bend our arc light phoenix and keep murktide on top and then bolt the opponent then we get back a phoenix and opponent has a bolt for our phoenix no and again nothing from the opponent we'll cast out our murktide getting an 8-8 for two mana and opponent's Scoops them up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to bring in two Jaces for two Lightning Axe. Game two, we'll keep our seven because it's a land heavy. And opponent goes turn one Ragavan. We'll go turn one Tarn after finding Canal and hold up Thought Scour. And Ragavan swings in, connecting. Exiling of Phoenix now! Then they play an Indestructible Land, and on the end step, we'll fetch out an Island and Thought Scour us. And we draw a Serum Visions and a Seam Vents. We'll lead on Serum Visions, drawing into a Ledger Shredder and seeing two lands on top. We'll bottom the Strand and keep Canal on top. Then play a Tap Steam Vents. They go straight to combat, exiling our land off the top, then casting out of Renin 6, ticking up, then fetching out a mountain and pillaging one of our steam vents. We draw a salvaging, we'll play out Spire Bluff Canal into a Murktide. Sadly, only a 7 7, too small. But it casts out a Season Pyromancer, discarding two lands. Then they tick up with Renin 6, getting their wooded foothills, which they play, and nothing else from the opponent. We draw Delta, we'll play that out and hold up salvaging, and we won't attack in with Murktide. Then opponent casts out a pillage on their turn, we'll cast a salvaging in response, discarding our Phoenix. I need a lightning bolt, pretty good draw. Then opponent attacks in with the team, we will block the Ragavan. Band, then cast a lightning bolt on our Murktide. Then they fetch shock, taking up with Renin 6, grabbing up foothills, and bolting our Murktide again. In our upkeep, we cast the Salvaging again, and we'll discard a Tarn, finding a bolt. Then we find a Serum Visions, so we'll lead on a Manamorphose. Finding a Thought Scour, we'll Thought Scour ourselves. Milling over nothing important. Fetch out an island, and we will cast a Serum Visions. And we'll put Jace to the bottom and consider on top. Then we'll bolt their Renin 6, bring back our Arclight Phoenix, and kill their Ren. When it goes to combat, attacking us for two, and plays a tapped land. We draw our consider for turn we'll cast out a shredder then cast a thought scour targeting ourselves conniving with shredder and we'll put back the consider drawn into a jace we'll play tap steam vents and tack in for three then opponent casts a bale summer just a cycle or untaps casting a molten rain destroying our land dealing two to us then they cast out a pillage destroying our other red source but we get to connive off shredder and opponent scoops it up there we ended up getting a two three so we ended up getting a two three with the deck deck just felt really inconsistent with getting arc life pinks into the bit but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the content please consider leaving a like comment subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.